Did you accidentally delete something that you really need or format the wrong hard drive? Well, not all hope is lost because today I'm going to show you how to recover it for free. Stay tuned. We've all been there before, accidentally deleted the wrong file and didn't realize until after the recycle bin emptied or thought we were formatting a thumb drive and turned out that was actually our data drive. <laughs> Stupid mistakes like this happen all the time, but it doesn't have to be permanent. It is possible to recover deleted files and even possible to recover deleted data from a formatted drive. Today, I'm gonna to show you how, and even better, it won't cost you a single dime. But first, we gotta pay some bills, so check out today's sponsor. Is your copy of Windows 10 unactivated? Well, it doesn't have to be, because with today's sponsor, VIP SCD Key, you can get a valid Windows 10 license for under $20. Stop dealing with that stupid watermark on the desktop, the valid license for Windows 10. Also, with an activated copy of Windows 10, you can upgrade to Windows 11 for free. Just go to the link in the description below and pick up a valid Windows 10 license key. During checkout, use the code CYBERCPU for a 25% discount. Once you have your key, go to your activation settings in Windows 10 and click on the link that says Change Product Key. Enter the product key you just purchased and hit Activate. Now you don't have to deal with that stupid watermark that come with running an unactivated copy of Windows 10. Now, on with the video. I can't tell you how many times I've had a customer call me after they brought their computer to a local big box store with a tech department, panicking because the kid behind the counter formatted his hard drive without backing his data up first. Believe it or not, this is actually quite common. You remember that release of liability that you signed when you dropped your computer off? Yeah, that, that releases them of liability in regards to your data. It's also not uncommon for inexperienced technicians to just wipe a computer and reload Windows when they're trying to fix a simple problem. In fact, it happens so often that I have an entire playlist showing how to fix broken Windows systems without formatting. So you know what? Don't be that guy. Learn how to fix Windows. Believe it or not, you rarely have to format a computer to fix it. And if you think about it though, formatting really isn't fixing it. It's kind of giving up and starting over, you know? Unfortunately though, if that happens to you, then the chances of recovering from it are pretty slim, but I have done it successfully in the past. The reason we are able to recover deleted files is because when you delete a file, it doesn't really delete the file. It only deletes the record where the file was stored on the hard drive. The data for the file itself is typically still present, at least on the drive. Because of this, we can use special software to find that file and recover it. However, this is only possible if you recover that file as soon as possible. You see, once the record for where that file is stored is deleted, that space on the drive is considered free space, and it can be overwritten at any time. Once that happens, the chances of recovering the data are literally zero. Now, you might remember just a minute or two ago that I mentioned that I have in the past successfully recovered data from a computer that has been formatted and reloaded with Windows. You might be wondering how that's possible considering Windows being reloaded would have overwritten the data on the drive. Well, you see, that's exactly why I said the chances of recovering data are pretty slim, but not impossible. You see, when Windows is reloaded, it doesn't take the entire drive. There's still a chance that your data could still be residing on the free space that's left on that drive. At least, some of your data, that is. For this reason, it's at least worth trying to recover your data back with this method, if that's happened to you. Now, for our purposes, we need a drive that has some data on it. So what I'm gonna do is use this 32 gig micro SD card with a bunch of Windows backgrounds on it, primarily because the amount of time it takes to recover data depends more on the size of the drive, not the size of the data you're recovering. So this is just a way to make my job a little bit easier while filming this video. However, this process works exactly the same on any storage device. So, let's jump on the computer here and I'll show you how to do it. 
Okay, so we're here in Windows 11, but this will work in any version of Windows. I'm just using Windows 11 because this just happens to be the version of Windows that I had on the system for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug my SSD card in. And as you can see, this SSD card is full of just a bunch of random Windows backgrounds. And as you can see, there's 40 items in total inside of this folder right here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you two methods to recover files. The first one is gonna be just simply deleted files. And then the second one is gonna be in a situation where you accidentally format a drive. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is get our software real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and I'm gonna open up Chrome here and I'm gonna show you some of the options we have. Now the program that we're gonna be using is Recuva. And if I pronounce that wrong, then I'm sorry, but it looks like Recuva to me. If I did pronounce it wrong though, however, tell me in the comments below how to pronounce it right. So this is a free program that you can get from CC Cleaner and they do have a professional version, but honestly for our use, we really don't need the professional version. The free version works just fine. And if you want, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom here and you can download it right here. However, I don't recommend downloading the version of Recuva from CC Cleaner. And there's a really good reason why. Um, whenever you're recovering data from a hard drive, you don't want to write anything to that hard drive because any writing to the drive could write over the data that you're trying to recover. What I recommend downloading is this version of Recuva from portableapps.com. And this one here will actually allow you to set up Recuva as a portable application so you don't have to write anything to the hard drive. This is the one we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here to download now. And then it should download in a couple of seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and let that download. And then there's a third option that I recommend using as well. And that's just simply downloading Hiren's Boot CD. Now Hiren's Boot CD is a Windows PE install that has tons tons of different diagnostic and repair software on it. It's a really good distro that you can use and keep around for situations just like this. And as you can see, it comes with Recuva on the CD. So to download this one, you just scroll all the way down to the bottom and you click right here to download the ISO. Now, I have to reiterate this real quick. Do not install Recuva on a drive that you're trying to recover data from because there's a really good chance that simply installing that program will write over the data that you're trying to recover. So I highly recommend at least using the portable version and go ahead and download that from a completely different system, copy it to a USB thumb drive or an external drive, whatever you plan to recover the data to because you also don't wanna recover data to a drive you're trying to recover data from, if that makes any sense. And it's for the same reason and you don't want to write to that drive until you get all your data recovered off of it. But optimally, Hiren's Boot CD is the perfect way to do this because you can download the ISO, burn it to a CD, or use a program like Rufus to make a USB out of it, and then go ahead and use that to recover data from. But still, do all of that from a different computer, not the computer you're trying to recover data from. So let's get back to it. Okay, so we can go ahead and go to our download folder right here and download, there's where our download is stored for Recuva. Now, I'm breaking my own rules right now by downloading this to the system I'm recovering data from, but that's okay because I'm gonna be recovering data from an SD card. So if that's the case, you just don't wanna install anything to a drive that you're currently trying to recover data from. So in order to use the portable version, just go ahead and click on it, and it goes through a regular setup process. However, it's not really setting it up. It's actually just creating a portable copy of the program. So once it's done, go ahead and hit finish, and you should be left with a folder right here. When you open this folder, it'll have all of the necessary data in it to be able to run the app. So that now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and minimize this, and we've gotta give ourselves a problem to recover data from. So the first one I'm gonna show you is what happens if we simply delete files that are on a storage device. So on this case, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all of these pictures right here. So we've got 40 items selected and say we just hit the delete button and hit yes and we delete all the files from the drive. So as you can see, this is an SD card. So because it's an SD card, there's nothing in the recycle bin. So I'm gonna go ahead and empty the recycle bin anyway, just to show you it's completely empty. So from this point now, in order to recover this, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go back to our program right here and gonna go ahead and run it right here. You run the RCV portable right here to run the program. And then from here, 
it should give us Rekuva. Now, what I would do is I would go ahead and cancel this wizard. We don't need the wizard. Go ahead and just get to the program itself. So the way that we wanna do this is we wanna first click on the drive that we wanna recover from. So in this case, by default, it's set to drive C. We don't want that. We want D, which is our SSD card. And then from there, don't push scan yet. We wanna go into options. And then there's one option that I highly recommend checking. Go ahead and go into actions and hit restore file structure. And this is if you're restoring a lot of different files and folders, you don't want them all thrown into the same directory. So by restoring the file structure, it should put these files into the folders that they would have originally been in. So go ahead and hit okay. And then at that point, we go ahead and push the scan button and it'll go ahead and scan the drive. And as you can see, it really didn't take that long. We went ahead and scanned it and it gave us a bunch of files that it found. So we're gonna go ahead and check here to select all of them. We're gonna push the recover button. And then from there, we wanna make sure to recover these files to a drive that isn't the one we're recovering files from. That's really, really important. So in my case, I'm gonna to go to my desktop, but if you're recovering documents from your C drive, then make sure to restore these documents to another drive completely, either a spare data drive or to a completely different drive, like a USB drive or something like that. So I'm gonna click on desktop, create new folder, hit OK, and then it'll go ahead and recover the files. And from that point, we can hit OK, and we can go ahead and close the program. So now if we go into this folder, as you can see, there's our 40 items right there, all recovered, and looks like they're all perfectly good. We'll go ahead and open a couple of them here just to make sure, and there you go. Looks like it worked just fine. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these files, and we wanna copy them back to our SSD card our SD card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna drag these, drag it back onto the SD card, and it's gonna take a minute to write. And there we go. All right, so now that we have them back on the SD card, I wanna to go to this PC and I wanna eject the card. And the reason why I'm ejecting the card, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and plug it back in. And the reason why I ejected the card first was because I wanted to make sure that any caching was done prior to what we're gonna do next, because what we're gonna do next is gonna damage this card pretty considerably. So from this point, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And as you can see, we have all of our files on here and in good shape. So the next step is gonna be to right click and hit format. And then we're gonna hit start and we're gonna go ahead and format this drive. And as you can see, format's complete. We can open it up and all of our files are gone. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take our old temporary folder. I'm gonna throw this one away and I'm gonna come here and we're gonna and go back into Recuva here. And then what we wanna do is say yes to the user account control, just like before. And like before, we're gonna cancel the wizard. Now there's a couple settings that we need to do a little bit different if we're dealing with a formatted drive. So the first one is, is we wanna select the drive, obviously. And then we wanna go into options and click on actions. Now what you wanna do is this very last setting right here where it says scan for non-deleted files. We wanna go ahead and check that. And also it's a good idea to check for deep scan also. And by doing a deep scan, it's going to be able to find a lot more files than it would normally. So I would recommend this in cases of formatting. So once we have both those checked, we're going to hit OK. And just like before, we're going to hit the scan button. OK, so it's going to take a minute for us to recover these files. We're just going to have to wait it out for it to do the deep scan. And that's to be expected. And that's the reason why I picked an SD card for this video instead of a regular hard drive. Because as you can see, we have about five minutes left to wait before this recovery is done. If I picked a one terabyte hard drive, eh, it could have been about two hours. And it would have taken me all day to film this video. And I wanted to get it done quicker, so we did an SD card instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up time and I'll meet you back in Windows once the recovery's done. Okay, so the recovery, it's found a bunch of files here. So if we scroll down here, as you can see, we have, looks like 41 files that found on the drive. So we're gonna go ahead and check all of these right here. And we're gonna, just like before, we're gonna hit the recover button. And I have to reiterate this again, you do not want to recover these to any drive that you're currently trying to recover data from. That is extremely important, I can't say it enough. Do not recover these files to the original location. Go ahead and copy them to a completely different storage device. So I'm gonna click on desktop, create a new folder, and then from there hit OK, and it's gonna go ahead and recover the files. And then from that point, we can go ahead and close the program, and we can open up this new folder. And as you can see, 
got a couple different folders in here. We have, it looks like it recovered some documents from the system volume information, which is WP settings dat, and that we really don't care about. This is the one we're interested in. So it says unknown folder because obviously it came from a formatted drive, so it had no idea what the original folder was. So if we open this up, as you can see, we do have all of our documents, but there is some slight problems here. As you'll notice, all of the naming is completely wrong. These are not what the original names were. And this is really common when you get to file recovery on a drive that's been formatted. Unfortunately, it's lost the original names of these documents. But as you can see, the pictures themselves are just fine. They just don't have their original names anymore. In this case, we only had 40 items and we recovered 40 items, so we got them all back. However, in a case where you have an entire drive with thousands of different documents and different types of documents, this can be a little annoying, but at least you get your data back. It's better than not getting it back at all, I guess. So as you can see, it is possible to recover deleted data, even from a formatted drive. The trick is to get the data back as soon as possible. I mean, seriously, I can't reiterate this point enough. If you've accidentally deleted your data or formatted a hard drive with important data on it, the very first thing you need to do is shut your computer off as fast as you can. Simply pulling the plug out of the wall is not inappropriate in these cases. The least amount of activity on the drive as possible will increase the likelihood of getting that data back. And as I stated earlier, I would highly recommend doing this from Hiren's Boot CD instead of running it directly off of your computer because simply installing Recuva on your computer could overwrite the data that you're trying to get back. Also, Windows uses free hard drive space for all sorts of tasks. It's constantly writing log files or adjusting the size of the swap file, all of which could be overwriting your data without you even knowing it. But if you have no other alternative than to use the computer that you're trying to restore data from, then download the portable version of Recuva from another computer and copy it to a thumb drive or an external hard drive. As I stated before, saving everything to that external storage device and don't try to recover the data to the drive you're trying to recover it from. Now, if you were being perceptive during this video, you might realize that formatting that old computer and donating it to your local high school doesn't actually delete your data. And you would be right. Now, if you'd like to permanently destroy your data without the possibility of recovery, then check out this video where I show you how to use freely available tools to do exactly that. Just keep in mind that if you follow those instructions, you will make data recovery impossible. As always, you guys have a great day.